Learning Spanish as a younger individual is of the utmost importance because you have a higher willingness to fail. You're more, you have a better and higher desire to fail and make mistakes, which is ultimately the only way that you can learn making mistakes and getting it wrong. Now, the thing is, the older that you become as a human, you become a lot more aware of your mistakes and a, a lot more aware of how other people may perceive the mistakes that you're making. That's something that you think about a lot and it hinders your process of learning. That's why, you know, babies, you know, and young children, they turn one, they turn two, they start speaking even younger than the age of one. They start speaking, but they have a high threshold for failure because they're not really aware of you know, this concept of social awareness that we develop as humans, which also sometimes can work against us. You know, they speak goo goo gaga, dada, mama, and they learn, they put words together in the language that they're learning and based on what they're hearing. So, you know, that's not to say that if you are a little bit up there in age or if you're an older individual, that does not say that hope is lost. There are people who start learning in their 30s and 40s and speak proficiently, speak conversationally, almost perfect. It just all really depends on how much you are willing to fail and your threshold for, for failure, rejection. You know, it's not you you're not supposed to care about looking stupid or you're not supposed to care about looking bad. That's what really matters. You know, I know certain Hispanics. Latinos, Latina Spanish speakers that grew up with one parent who spoke Spanish and one parent who spoke English. So they got the best of both worlds. They got to hear both languages. And so their brain really developed both languages at the same time. You know, examples like that showing that it's better to start younger. So if you're like 12, 13 years old watching a video, even if you're, you know, 21, 22, 25, even if you're pushing 30, you know, even though like 21 and up, you know, once you get past really the age of, I don't even know, ballpark, you get past the age of maybe six, seven, or eight, you become a lot more self-conscious, you know, and you start developing that embarrassment and you kind of feel kind of off, you kind of feel awkward, excuse me, if I can speak. So that's why I highly advise you, if you are younger, I advise you to start now. Now for the people who are older looking at this, say like in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, maybe even older, hope is not lost. You just have to really be intentional and learn how to cut off your brain, so to speak, in the sense that you don't let yourself stop you. You don't let the fear of failure, the fear of rejection, the fear of looking bad stop you. Now, this is something that I can say that I've done well with going out, having conversations with native speakers. I'll speak to myself and play it back. And I get used to you. I'm accustomed to using the language, hearing the language, writing the language because I'm immersed. And I think that it is a good tip. I think it's important. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. It is okay to make mistakes. I literally put something on my Instagram story as we speak, probably like five minutes ago. It, it says something in Spanish to the effect of, um, como se decía? or I can't remember how it was said in Spanish, but in English it's saying the only impossible thing is the thing that you do not try. And that's what it said in Spanish. And that really moved me. Me conmovió mucho. O sea, like it really impacted me because I, I understand this is someone who it has gone through this language learning journey and it being a lifestyle, the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs, the good times and the bad times. So keep that in mind. Make sure you share this video with a friend or somebody that you know. Let's make sure everybody has an opportunity to learn Spanish. Let me know how I can help you. And hasta el próximo video. See you next time.